everyone, welcome back to Acres of Clay Homestead. Today we are working on the Challenger tractor yet again. They are just about, the guys, whoops. I'm sitting, I'm sitting up here on the tractor tire because uh, trying to get some good shots for you all. But the guys are just about ready to take the CVT out or the Fent Vario or the insert, whatever you want to call it. They're going to pull that out. Uh, hopefully, we'll see what's going on with it. So, stay tuned. So, they're hooking up the chains. Well, they make a bracket for it, but we're going to make our own bracket. Why are you doing that? Why are we doing what? Making your own bracket when they have one. Uh, I'd have to build it. Oh. So. So we're gonna loosen up the clamps, these two there. So this tranny sits on two rods that go through. We got the front input shaft unhooked, the sun gear in the back unhooked, the output to the rear end unhooked. All these hydraulic lines go through all these holes. And then there's a valve body on the outside, but them are all off. So I mean, we're pretty much getting ready. So that nut's gotta be taken off and the one down below. But we'll have to grab a loader tractor and start picking on it. And hopefully it comes right out. <laughs> so at this point, Ethan is removing the nuts that hold this rod in place. Yeah. Underneath the tranny, there's plugs we gotta take out to get to these. If you look here, I don't know if you showed this already, but there's this, there's this, this tranny sits on these cross rods but they have tighteners on them. We have to take plugs out of the bottom to get to these cap screws. So we're working at trying to get them plugs out. So. And you're having difficulty? Well, a little bit. It's windy out, so if you hear a lot of rackets, because it's very windy. But it's very nice out. It's like 72 degrees. There's a chunk of a gear set down on the bottom. A chunk of gear sitting at the bottom. So we're trying to get there and get our plugs out. Once the plugs are out, then we can lift it up. Yeah. I brought the tractor over. I have it sitting right here. This will definitely need a thorough cleaning. When you're done? Yeah. A lot of you have asked how in the world are they going to remember how to put everything back together once this is all fixed and we've got pictures we've got video we've got color coded zipty ties um, different colored duct tapes um, different bags just all kinds of um, ways that they have made it so that they can remember how to put it back together once once it's all said and done Well, let's uh, 
We can drive that pin out, I guess. Ethan, should we hook our right on like should we hook on like this? I'll let it down. You have to jiggle because you're cockeyed. Oh man. Oh my god. I probably have to pick up. No. I can. I'm loose in the hole. Well. How far do we gotta go? You see down in there? For the manual, you're supposed to take tires off. You're supposed to take the tires off. Oh, you oh. were hoping not to. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. So it's probably sticking in there right here. Or right there, but your clamp is right here. Oh, it's out tighter? So you still got another three inches to go. Well, I was going to let the air out of the tire and shove the tire over with the jack, I guess. Brad, you're settling. Alright, then what we'll do is we'll put a jack here and shove that over. Use the handyman, so it might work. Tricks of the trade, try and get away with it. Next time, the tires only need about 15. Is that how you do that? There you go. Need help? Holding it? What we do to that gear oh, move, babe?
go. Like, I leave it. Oh, wow. But I leave these two. I knew they were up there, but I didn't know. This is what? This is the fat tranny. Yeah, the very good. A lot smaller than you think. <laughs> so it runs you up there. Hi. Right. Let's uh. Hi. Right, let's pick her out. Oh, that one comes out by... Yeah. Oh, they're both changed. Magnet, probably. You got yeah. one of those little ones? Well, it fell from up above somewhere. It fell from up above? Yeah. It's your shift from your between your speeds. You so. already got those out? Yeah, they're sitting down the bottom, so. Well, the last time I drove, well, the last time I drove it, when it went from high to low, it clunked. So I don't know if that was part of. It clunked. Oh, huh? well, that gear right there. There's supposed to be a gear on top of. Uh, if you come and look at. It. See, this here is a slide. And that gear, the yeah, it's right there. That's supposed to be around that shaft. So it's kind of blurry when it gets that close. But this is your this is your your shifter was in this, and this is between your high and low range. So that's what throws. Huh? That's what But as for speed wise, one of these pumps is leaking. One of these is. Huh? Unless, unless that could be the snow down there. So, there you have it, people. It's out. It wasn't too hard to deal. What's the next step? Get another one. Get it back together. So, where will you order it from the dealer? Yeah, I gotta talk to him. I'll give him a call tomorrow. So here's some, here's some pieces that I just picked out of here. This is the big cavity that the, that the CVT sits in. And I picked out this one, this and this piece here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's twisted all up. more pieces. This one's yeah. all twisted. But there's some bolts. What? But there's a couple bolts that fell out. Yeah, I, I picked up this thing. I don't know what it... Well, those are my sensors. Oh, anyway, spring. Yeah, I got one of those Just too. Put them on the bench. On the bench. 
then I think there's a piece back in there because I, I dropped one in there. Under the No, stuff. over in, oh, in here more. somewhere. Right there's the four wheel drive clutch. So we give the dealership a call and we'll see how much this is going to cost. A lot of you guys ask how many hours are on this tractor. It has just over 7,000 hours. Mm -hmm. Next we'll be uh, seeing how long it takes to get one of these in.